Ladies, gentlemen, everybody else, welcome to part 8 of How to Juggle Clubs, the series aimed at giving you the basics of club juggling in glorious slow motion. Today we are back in Helix Park looking at showers. This is the trick that lay people think of as juggling, and are always surprised to find out it is much harder with three objects than two. Stick with me however, and you'll have more showers than Scotland does in spring, or summer, or autumn. In winter it snows. N never mind, let's get into it. At its base, the shower is just a double with one hand, while the other does a pass across at the same time. I actually find the standard double pretty difficult. The clubs tend to clash at the bottom, and as you can see in the full speed example, there is a tendency to rotate your body as you go. That won't win you any IGA points. In the slow-mo, we can see that both hands open up at the same time. This will be even more apparent in later examples. You can see from this side shot that there is a pause while the first double is thrown, and then when that is at the apex, the next double and the pass across are thrown at the same time. However, I don't find this standard way of showering very visually appealing, so let's try wall planes. So this is a double wall plane shower, much prettier in my opinion, and because the double throws are starting on the outside, I think it's slightly easier as there is more room for the pass across. See our last video for an introduction to wall planes as a whole. In the slow-mo there is something I'd like to point out, namely that this is wrong. When I first learnt doubles, I caught the club in this position with the head pointing across my body. I fixed it for the variations we'll see next, but I'm stuck with this catch in doubles until I retrain my hands. For the moment, we'll let it stand as an example of what not to do. It still technically works, it's just not as aesthetic. Once you have the doubles down, you can switch to singles. In the slow-mo, the thing to note is how both hands open up at the same time. It kind of looks like I'm praying or something. This is the better catching position I referred to earlier, with the club being thrown and the club that's being caught facing away from each other. After two spins and one spin, the next logical step is no spins. Technically, it's half a spin, as the club starts pointing out to the left and ends pointing to the right, but I would still refer to this as a flat shower in warplane. Another variation of this is what I call a champagne shower. It's the same as the previous flat shower, but the club is thrown from a wrong end catch, so that at the apex, it looks like a bottle flying through the air. This definitely won't get you any IGA points, but I love it. Getting into it can be a little tricky, however, so let's break it down. From a standard cascade, I throw a half spin with the left, then the right, then the left again. As this last half spin is in the air, the right hand throws its first flat shower, and we're in. And we're done for today. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, it would really help the channel out if you hit that like button and subscribe for more tutorials, gear reviews and interviews with professional circus practitioners. The next video will be on overhead juggling. Happy practicing and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.